Hello everyone, this is Paisal Nadeem from Knowledge Topper and welcome to our another video on interview training course. In this video, I will teach you how to prepare for an operations manager job interview. Uh, so if you are applying for an operations manager role in any organization, make sure to stay tuned to this video because I promise to help you pass your interview at the first attempt, okay? Uh, and to achieve this objective, I am sharing with you the top 10 most important uh, commonly asked operations manager job interview questions and their sample answers, okay? Uh, in this video, we will cover five questions and in next video, we will cover the remaining five, okay? I will also let you know the purpose of asking each question from the hiring manager uh, so you can create your answer by including, you know, uh, all those important things that I will teach you, okay? Uh, so before we get started, if you are watching my video for the first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also ring the notification bell uh, so you won't miss any of our upcoming career-focused content, okay? Uh, all right, let's jump in straight away. So the first important question from the interviewer is, can you explain your experience in managing teams and projects? Uh, in this particular, you know, response, you need to highlight your relevant experience uh, in managing, you know, teams and projects, okay? Uh, try to emphasize your ability to lead, motivate and, you know, communicate with team members effectively and also mention any successful projects, you know, uh, that you have overseen in past and uh, uh, try to outline their, you know, scope, their challenges and outcomes, okay? So how you can answer to this particular question is that, well, in my previous role as an operations manager at XYZ company, I was responsible for overseeing a team of 15 employees and managing various projects as well. Uh, one project that stand out is the implementation of a new inventory management system. Uh, it involved cross-departmental collaboration and I led the team through each phase of the project from planning to execution. Uh, and you know, to ensure smooth communication and coordination, uh, I organized weekly team meetings and also established clear roles and responsibilities for each team member as well. Uh, throughout the project, I closely monitored progress, addressing any roadblocks promptly. And, you know, as a result, we successfully implemented the new system uh, that led to a 20% reduction in inventory holding cost and a 15% improvement uh, in order fulfillment times as well. The second question is, how do you ensure operational efficiency and productivity within your team? Uh, in this question, you have to discuss your approach to improving, you know, efficiency. Like uh, you have to, you know, identifying bottlenecks, streamlining processes and also, you know, uh, implementing performance metrics, okay? Uh, you have to highlight any strategies you have used in past to boost, you know, productivity like training programs, technology integration or, you know, cross-functional collaboration, any of them, okay? So how you can answer to this particular question is that well, in my experience, uh, I have found that process optimization and employee training are key drivers of operational efficiency. Uh, and you know, at ABC Manufacturing Company, uh, I identified a significant delay in the production line uh, due to outdated machinery. Uh, I work with the production team to analyze the problem and you know, propose investing in new, more efficient equipment. Uh, additionally, I organize training workshops for the team uh, to enhance their skills, their familiarity with the new machinery, okay? Uh, and, you know, as a result, we saw a 30% increase in daily production output, uh, reducing, you know, production costs by 10% in just six months. The third question is, how do you handle budgeting and resource allocation? Uh, in this response, you have to showcase your financial acumen by, you know, uh, explaining your experience in creating and managing, you know, budgets, okay? You have to discuss your methods for resource allocation, uh, cost optimizations, and, you know, uh, try to explain strategies for, you know, staying within budget constraints, okay? So how you can answer to this particular question is that, well, as an operations manager at DEF Retail, I was responsible for creating and, you know, managing departmental budgets. Uh, and when allocating resources, I followed a data-driven approach. Like, you know, for example, uh, during a warehouse expansion project, I conducted a thorough cost analysis uh, to determine the required budget and, you know, resource allocation. Uh, and to ensure adherence to the budget, I closely monitored expenses and, you know, implemented cost-saving measures where possible as well. Uh, by the end of the project, we completed the expansion within the allocated budget that's saving the company 15% on, you know, projected cost. The fourth question is, can you describe a challenging situation you faced as an operation manager and how you resolve it? While answering to this particular question, you have to share a specific example uh, of a challenge you encountered in past and, you know, try to explain its impact on the organization, okay? Uh, you also need to, you know, detail the steps you took to address the issue, okay? like, you know, including problem solving techniques, teamwork, and uh, like any changes you implemented to prevent, you know, future occurrences, okay? So how you can answer to this particular question is that one of the most challenging situations I encountered was at LM and Logistics, where we experienced frequent shipping delays due to, you know, unreliable carriers. And to address this issue, I initiated a supplier evaluation process and also conducted 
uh, thorough research to identify you know uh, more dependable shipping partners and you know after negotiating contracts with selected carriers we improved shipping reliability by 25 percent uh, that leading to a 20 percent decrease in customer complaints uh, related to you know delivery times okay the fifth question is how do you ensure compliance with relevant regulations and company policies uh, in this response you have to show your understanding of the importance of you know uh, compliance and how you enforce it within your team okay try to discuss your experience in implementing policies and you know conducting training to ensure adherence to regulations and company guidelines okay so how you can answer to this particular question is that well at efg services uh, compliance was a top priority and you know as an operations manager i organize regular training sessions uh, to educate employees on industry regulations and you know company policies uh, additionally i implemented internal audits to monitor adherence to these standards as well and you know by focusing on compliance we successfully passed uh, external audits with flying colors and also maintained a strong reputation in the industry as well so there you have it the five most important commonly asked operations manager job interview questions along with the sample answers uh, in next video we will cover the remaining five questions uh, i have already uploaded a video on operations manager job description uh, that can also help you in preparation of your you know uh, operations manager job interview uh, all the link is in the description of this video uh, always remember that you know practice makes perfect so take these answers as a starting point and tailor them to your own experiences and skills okay if you found this video helpful don't forget to subscribe our channel knowledge topper and also give a thumbs up as well uh, you can also share it with anyone you think could benefit from it and don't forget to leave a comment below if you have any questions or you know suggestions for future video topics as well thanks for watching this video and i will see you in the next video on knowledge topper until then keep striving for professional success have a good day